This is the real Tom Rose. And this particular problem fits a very common trend uh, on the SAT, which is you have some information which is given, and we have some other information that we've been asked to find. Now, in this case, the thing we've been asked to find is simply the value of n, which makes this problem simpler than some of the other problems that ask you to find something. Imagine how complicated this could have been. Now, we've been given the information r is equal to 4 fifths s times n. We know r is 32 and s equals 20. And these values can be plugged in. So 32 for r and 20 for s. So let's do that. 32 equals 4 fifths 20 times n. And at this point, we're simply solving for n. So let's multiply both sides by 5. Cancel that out. So now we have 5 times 32 equals 4 times 20 times n. Let's divide both sides by 4 times 20. So these will cancel out. And we end up with 5 times 32. Let's do that in blue. 5 times 32 over 4 times 20 equals n. And we simply need to simplify this to get our answer. So 5 and 20 can cancel out with a 4 left over. 4, 4, and 32 will cancel out with a 2 left over. So n equals 2, which is answer choice A.